In today's video, we will be installing the Raspbian OS in the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B and it's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. So today's video is a continuation on previous week's video where I did a comparison of the Raspberry Pi 4 and 3 and whether to buy the new Raspberry Pi 4 or not. If you want to watch that video, you can simply click the notification in the upper right corner on screen now. To complete this video, you will need a Raspberry Pi 4 of course, a micro SD card, an SD card adapter and an Ethernet cable. Now I bought the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 2GB of RAM. But if yours is 1GB or 4GB of RAM, then don't worry, the amount of RAM doesn't matter in this case. What does matter is the memory size of the mini SD card you will be using to write the OS on for the Raspberry Pi 4. As you may remember in the last, in the last week's video, I showed you that the SD card slot can be located on the bottom side of the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 4. The SD card is used to write the OS on and for memory storage as well. I advise that, that this SD card has at least 8GB of memory storage as the OS takes up around 6GB of the memory storage as well. Make sure you buy a SD adapter for the micro SD card as well or USB adapter as most laptops or computers won't support a slot for micro SD cards. Now if you're like me and you had a Raspberry Pi 3, you probably have a spare SD card with an old OS on but unfortunately this won't be able to run on the Raspberry Pi 4. And if you plug in your SD card, you'll notice as well that your SD card is split into two storages. You can't just format one of the disks and write the new OS on them. We actually have to reallocate all of the space as a new single partition, but rest assured it's a quite easy and fast fix. Now go to your file explorer and select this PC and right click your inserted SD card and select format and let's just do a quick format. Now open the start menu and search for disk part and open this. Once you have opened this, type in list disk, press enter, and this will highlight all the disks on the device such as my SSD. Type select disk and after that add the number of the disk you want to clean properly. So in my case this is disk 1. Please be careful here and make sure you don't select your hard drive itself. Now type clean and then create partition primary to make a new partition with all unallocated space. Now we can type exit to finish. Now open file explorer and again right click, select format and just do a quick format and that should do the trick. After we have reallocated all of the space on our SD card, we can start with the installation of the SD card. First we have to get the image from for our Raspberry Pi. There will be a link in the description but otherwise open up your browser and type in Raspberry Pi downloads and select the first site. Then we are going to install the Raspbian, oh, Raspbian OS, this is just my preference, and select the first zip file called Raspbian Buster with desktop and recommended software. Once this is downloaded you should unzip the file and as you can see this will contain the image. Now we want to use a tool called Win32 Disk Imager. This is a helpful little tool to write images. Link will be in the description to download this tool as well. Or type into your browser Win32 Disk Imager. And it should be the first link of Sorge Forge. And download the tool and install it of course. Once you have installed Win32 Disk Imager, you should open up the tool. Then select the image file by clicking the blue icon. Now locate the image and select it. If you have selected the file, we can choose our device we want to write to. In my case, this is disk D. Once you have selected the disk, press write and the tool will do its thing. This might take a while. After this is complete, go to our disk through file explorer and add in a file, file called ssh with no extension. If you can't alter the extension, you might want to click view in the third top tab and mark file name extensions. After we added the SSH file, we can open up commentline.txt and add in this line, 
just before the part where it says root and save the file. If you don't, if you don't, you simply won't be able to access the Pi through SSH. We will be using this IP address to connect with the Raspberry Pi without the use of an external screen. For those who want to use an external screen, keyboard and mouse with the micro HDMI, there should be a link in the upper right corner now. For those who want to speak to the Raspberry Pi with an Ethernet cable, con con can continue following this video. Now safely unplug the SD card, like so, and insert it into our Raspberry Pi. Now connect the Raspberry Pi with an Ethernet cable to our to your desktop or laptop. If you don't have an Ethernet com Ethernet port like me, I recommend buying an Ethernet adapter to USB like mine. Once plugged in, you should plug in the power for the Raspberry Pi and open up Pretty. This is a program we will be needing to communicate with our Raspberry Pi. The link will be in the description for the download or open up your browser and enter in putty.org and download and install the .msi. Now open up Putty and you should be able to type the IP address from earlier 169.254.10.1 and the port 22 since SSH works on this port and open the connection. Now you have to log in as Pi and the password is Raspberry. If you are experiencing some problems while connecting to the Pi through SSH, I advise you to try and Google for the error message that will be shown on your screen. In next week's video, I will be showing you how to connect to your Wi-Fi network and start up your very first Python project. Also, please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel. Link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.